What is happening guys? Brody out here at ECPC in Carlsbad. I got Sergio Garcia with us. I'm pretty excited about this. Not gonna lie, grew up watching golf. Saw you uh, make some pretty miraculous shots. And uh, doing pretty good in the right. I, I'm obviously rooting for the USA, but yeah, you, you, guys, you guys took it to us this year. So, um, but really excited to have the opportunity out here. We're at basically Callaway's Fitting Center, essentially. It's an absolutely amazing facility. Do you come out here often? Um, a couple times a year. A couple times a year? Yeah, just kind of gear up with, with some of the new, new stuff, stuff and kind of make sure that we're, we're heading the right, right direction throughout the middle of the year. So uh, it's, a, it's a great spot to come and, and practice a little bit and look at some numbers. Yeah, I feel like they, they have almost everything here for the tour guys to come out and make sure you're dialed in. What are you most, uh, for 2019, they've got tons of products. What are you most excited to have in your bag for the 2019 season? Well, I mean, uh, so many great things. Uh, I think that uh, the new ball looks amazing. Uh, I've been working with it a, couple, uh, a little bit now and, and it feels really good. But obviously I love I love drivers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've, I've always been a big fan of it. I, I think the, the new Epic Flash, uh, it, it, it looks great, it feels great. Uh, I'm picking up a little bit of, uh, of uh, ball speed, which is uh, nice. it's always welcome. <laughs> That's always, we always welcome those yeah. things. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting to see some of those things. Yeah, so we'll show you guys some of that later in some other videos as well. But since we have Sergio here, we have got a lot of new golfers, including myself. I, I grew up kind of golfing at a young, young age, but kind of gave up with it. And I feel like the technology and everything has just, just exploded basically over the last couple years. And we were kind of talking off camera earlier how so many people have so many different things to tell people about golf, right? You you post a video of a golf swing and comments galore of change this, change this from everyone. And I, I think, you know, we have one of the best golfers in the world here. I think it'd be a great, uh, great time to basically just kind of give the audience a little bit of some tips that if you're brand new into the game, just trying to get a little bit better to where maybe you're not losing all those nice Callaway golf balls that you have. Uh, I think it makes the game a lot more enjoyable. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, the good thing is they they they, they make plenty of balls. So even they do make plenty of balls. You can keep buying. You know, it's <laughs> no, but uh, I think uh, I mean obviously the game of golf it's 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 different from from all the other sports. Uh, I mean, tennis is the closest you can get to. You know, the movement is you know from down up and down and up again. Uh -huh. So it's not like like you're swinging around here like throwing a ball or. or kicking the ball or anything like that so so that's a little bit more complicated but I think uh, obviously if you start young like you were saying that's important okay uh, that's that's huge because when we're kids you know we're like sponges you, you know, pick up take, stuff real fast we take everything so so much quicker so uh, if you start when you're a little bit older it's a little bit tougher but uh, one of my first you know, the, the, one of the first things that I would say to you is you have to be patient. Uh, mm -hmm. At the beginning, it's uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit tougher. Uh, but but once you once you get going and once you start hitting some some good shots, uh, the feeling you get when you hit a good shot, it's, it's nothing like it. Yeah. And, and I think that's that's probably one of the reasons why people just keep, keep coming back. back because that that feeling of hitting a shot, you know, it doesn't matter if it's 300 yards or if it's. Hang out. 70 yards, <laughs> but if you hit exactly like you want it and That's with the really pipe and everything, that 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 feeling of power and stuff is, is just amazing. So I think that you know you have to be obviously, like I said, you have to be very patient uh, to start with. Uh, I think sometimes people try to swing too hard. I think at the beginning it's important to to kind of get the motion and and, and try to to feel it and, and, and get, get, get really a good feel of it and then you can kind of speed it up as you go along because um, you know I think like when I see uh, when I see new newcomers uh, trying to play balance is it's, it's lacking a lot you know they're trying to hit it too hard and so you they're, you they're really all over the place, so. you really want to hit when you finish your swing you want to just feel like yes. you, someone can come up and be, push you and you can still yeah, be you on gotta your feet. be you gotta be very stable you gotta so that's why I was saying that sometimes at the beginning it's, it's important to maybe not hit as hard, but make sure that you're doing good motion and and kind of finishing nice and strongly on your left on your left leg and, and, and very balanced because that is going to help you be more consistent when you hit the ball and as you get that consistency you're going to be more comfortable you're going to be more confident you're going to start hitting a little bit harder and harder you know if you're if you're sitting there and you're trying to hit it hard and, and you're all over the place and you top it and stuff, you, you kind of get frustrated and, and, and it's tougher. So, you know, I think that 
as a start, obviously, that's, that balance is important to make sure that you, you get a good motion on your swing. So then and I you, mean, can, you, you can build up on that. Sergio's got, I feel like, one of the best fluid swings out there where, you know, we were just talking about it earlier. When you swing, it doesn't look like you're actually swinging hard. <laughs> and that's the key, right? You yeah. don't want to look like you're really trying to rip at it to get the distance. Yeah, you, you want to get speed, but, but, uh, but like I said earlier, you want to get speed with, uh, with good balance because that's, if you get a lot of speed but you don't hit the ball in the, in the middle of the club face or mm -hmm. as close as possible to the middle of the club face, all that extra speed, you, you lose it on the impact. Okay. So sometimes it's, it's more important to maybe not swing as hard but, but make good contact than, than, than swing really hard and hit on the toe all or the over heel the and, and then you know you, the, 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 the smash factor, the, the, the speed that the ball comes out, it drops. Yeah. So one shot that is really difficult for me and I think probably for a lot of amateur golfers out there is the 100 yards in it. You guys are so dialed in and so good at when you get the ball in the spot that you need to in the fairway, you have so many birdie opportunities from there. So do you mind like hitting some balls just to some of these, uh, close, maybe to some of the red pins here sure. and just kind of go through your thought process of like what you're trying to do. Um, because I feel like, you know, for me, a lot of times I just, no matter what the, where the pin is or what my lie is or anything, I just, I'm thinking the same thing, just hit the ball. Yeah. I don't really have any sort of um, thought, we can move probably yeah. over here if it's easier. Um, I mean, do we know, do we know the distance to that, to the first pin? Uh, it's probably, no. probably somewhere around 90. Yeah, I'd say 93, 95. Yeah, something like that. All right, Maybe so obviously, I mean, this this part this part of the game it's it's very important to us too. Um, it's like because, the scoring zone, right? Yeah, and also also you can save a lot of shots. Like for example, if you hit a bad drive and you have to lay up on a even on a par four, you know, if you if you have a if you have a distance that you know that you can you can hit it fairly close and, and leave yourself a par putt. Sometimes those are momentum you know, savers. momentum savers that, that kind of keep you around going. So I think that this is something that as, as much as you can practice it, you know, the better it gets. But uh, it's important to to have like a know, like a go-to yardage that you, you're comfortable with, that you know that you can more or less hit it, hit it close. as close as possible. Um, I think uh, you know, like I was saying earlier, kind of like the same thing. Balance very important here uh, on, on on every shot, but on these shots more than anything, the contact is is, is very important because that's going to give you the consistency on the on the yardages. Okay. So, uh, and are you taking like so? We're we're saying this is about 90 yards. Are you? taking the same exact club every single time it depends it depends uh, it depends on the conditions uh, it depends on wind conditions it depends on the greens like for, for us you know these these kind of yardages if the greens are soft we will spin it quite a lot with like uh, like a 50 and a low wedge so so sometimes you know even if, you know i know that i can hit my 58 my low wedge i can hit it Probably about a hundred and I can fly probably about a hundred and seven, a hundred and eight yards. Okay. But, uh, but sometimes you know I have ninety-five or a hundred yards to the flag, and I know that I cannot hit this club because, because it's going to spin too much. Too much spin. So I have to dial down with maybe like my fifty-two and hit like a three-quarter that I know is going to bounce okay. and stuff because the greens are soft. So you guys, when, once you get to that, that's like the, the next level, that's, yeah. right? That right now, probably beginning, you're just trying to figure out a distance that you feel comfortable with. And then when you get super dialed, now you're taking the spin, you're taking yeah, all taking that the, stuff. Yeah, taking the firmness of the green and the slope and things okay. like that. But yeah. So yeah, take a couple swings just so kind of people can get an idea of what it looks like. Because it is, it is a different swing, right? You're not... Well, I mean, it's... Are your feet like closer together a little bit? Or? A little bit, yeah. Everything, everything it's a little bit tighter because the club is shorter. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but the motion of the swing, it's... It's Roughly pretty much the same. same. I mean, obviously you hit down a bit more than you than you do with the driver. Okay. Uh, because because it's, uh, it's iron, but, but the motion of the swing it's, it's not it's not that difficult.
Okay, you almost slam dunked it. All right. Now, when you're when you're out practicing and stuff, how how much are you looking at the divot? Is, are you, is that because I feel like sometimes a lot of people when they hit a bad shot, they immediately look at the divot to try to. Is that something that that you know us bad golfers should be doing? Well, I mean, the divot is going to give you an idea of your swim path. Okay. So obviously, you know, with with a with a short shot like this, you, you want it to be as you know, dead on, as, as dead on, yeah, as as, as uh, square to the target as uh, you know as possible. Uh, obviously, if, if you come in from outside in, that's when you start cutting a little bit, and you'll see the the, the, the you see the divot aiming going left, different ways. Or, okay. Or if you going too much the other way, that's when you when you start hooking a little bit more. So, on on these kind of shots, you know, the more square it is, the, the better because. You know, there's the short claps, and you, you, you're not really gonna move the ball. You're not trying. Yeah, that you're, much, okay. You know? You're really just trying to dial it in, yeah. hitting it as straight as possible with the right yardage. And I think, you know, when you when you're working on these claps, it's important to kind of go through it and think, really think about, really think about what what you're doing, what 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 it feels like. Like that one, I hit a little bit. Like the one before, I hit a little bit passive, that one I hit a little bit softer. So it's important to hit the shot and not just keep hitting. You know, hit the shot and say, okay, you know, I felt like I swung up to here and I flew it a little bit past. So, you know, I know that, you know, that 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 motion gets me there. Yeah. So, okay, I need to do it a little bit shorter okay. and, and kind of feel, get, get, a, get a feel in your, in your brain and in your body of what you're doing, not just hit 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 so, and, until and see if you hit one close you know? so it's similar to like the patience thing where i think some of us when we go out to the range we buy a bucket of balls and we hit a bucket of balls in 15 minutes yeah. right you hit a bad shot and you immediately go for the next one you're almost saying especially with the wedges and stuff take the time hit the shot feel it and then try to have like almost a mental imprint of what that felt yeah. like yeah for me you know, I've, I've always, with, with every club, but obviously with the wedges even more, but I've always been more quality than quantity. You know, I'd rather hit 50 balls, think about what I'm doing and, and kind of going through, through what I'm doing and, and getting a feel for it than hitting 150 just, just, by, just, just, because, just because I'm hitting. I like that. Man, and saves money for us out there buying range balls. <laughs> Sure. Sergio, the man, the man of the people. Hey, well, I appreciate the time. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I think we've all can learn something with our golf game, and hopefully, you guys can kind of advance that. Thanks again to Sergio. It was awesome, and I uh, can't wait to watch you play in 2019, man. Right. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. How do you like ECPC? ECPC. He like how he performs. He like how he performs. ECPC. <laughs> E like how Eli. Why I say Eli? I think I did that last time. Obviously, he must be a Giants fan. I'm going to say ECPC. Your ball went really straight. I feel like we're one hit wonder there. That's it. Perfect. Boom! <laughs> See you in Dubai! Let's go! There you go. <laughs>